creating your first JSF application can be really tricky, especially if you're new to JSF development and Java EE. To help you, I've created a simple custom Maven archetype, which will help you to bootstrap your JSF application in under one minute. Just go to my GitHub account and then to the project Custom Maven Archetypes, scroll down to the JSF section, copy the Maven Archetype statement and make sure you have Maven installed and available. Then paste in the Maven Archetype statement. This will now create a empty JSF Java EE8 application with all required dependency and files already in place. This may take some seconds until it's finished and then we are ready to open the created project with an IDE of your choice and we'll have a first look at it. So let's wait two more seconds. Now it's finished. We should now see a new folder called JSF app. Open this folder with an IDE of your choice. I'm choosing IntelliJ, but Eclipse and NetBeans also work. Let's first have a look at the dependencies which are included to this project. We first have the Java EE API marked as provided as the implementation is part of the application server. The same is true for the micro profile API. Next is OmniFaces, is a nice utility library for JSF. Then PrimeFaces, which is an awesome component library and helps you develop nice front ends. In addition, I've added the themes package to customize the styling of your components. Last but not least, you will also get JUnit and Mojito for testing purposes. In addition, you will also get your first JSF view already in place. It's a simple index page displaying a hello world message and it's already referring to a managed backing bean called sample bean. You will find this bean in the Java package. You will also see some microprofile stuff. It's the microprofile config API, which is injecting a property. The property gets injected from the microprofile configs.properties file. In addition, I've also added the persistent.xml so you can start working with relational databases. Next, you will see the default beans.xml file. In addition, I've added the Payara web XML file to serve the application from the root context. And last but not least, a web.xml file to make some simple JSF configuration and also apply the bootstrap prime faces theme to your application. To start this, you can use Docker. I'm providing a simple Docker file, which is using the latest Payara server full. And it's just copying the final war file into the deployment folder of Payara. To run this, you will see here two convenience scripts, one for Windows and one for Mac and Linux. This will build your application with Maven, then build the Docker image and finally run a Docker container with the, with Payara and the application. You can try this, make sure Docker is running, and you may need to add execution permissions if you are running on Mac or Linux. If done this, you can execute a script. It shouldn't take so long, as it's really simple and still very lean. Once the Maven build is finished, the Docker build will kick in and finally we'll see a hash of the Docker container. You should now see the container running. It's binding the two 
main Payara ports. One is the HTTP port and the other one is the port for the, the admin UI. You can also have a look at the Docker logs and see if Payara is starting correctly. Now go to your browser and visit localhost 8080 and you should see the welcoming message and your first JSF application is up and running. For more information about Java EE in general and JSF, feel free to visit my blog and if you need more information about this Maven archetype, I've also created a blog post especially for this Maven archetype which you can find on my homepage and can read about it and see in detail what is included and a step-by-step -step guide on how to run it. Have fun using JSF.